Al-Qaeda-affiliated Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, the de facto ruler of the northwestern Syrian region of Greater Idlib, is taking advantage of a new battle between Turkey's proxies to expand its influence in the northern Aleppo countryside. The conflict began on October 7th, when militants of the Turkish-backed Hazma division assassinated Syrian opposition activist Muhammad Abutif Abu Ghanoman and his pregnant wife in the town of Al-Bab, the main stronghold of Turkish forces in the northern Aleppo countryside. In response to the assassination, the Turkish back Third Corps, led by the Al Shamia Front, kicked off an operation against the Hazma division on October 10th. Within a few hours, the Third Corps was able to expel Hazma militants from Al Bab. However, the battle heated up on October 11th, when the Suleiman Shah Division, another Turkish-backed faction, intervened on behalf of the Hazma Division. In response to the move, the Third Corps expanded its operations into the area of Afrin. HDS began its intervention on the same day. The terrorist group dispatched a large, heavily armed force to Afrin via the crossings of Hazawiya and Deir Balut to support the Hazma Division and the Suleiman Shah Division. HDS's forces were able to expel the Third Corps from most of southern and western Afrin by October 12th. The force even reached the outskirts of Afrin city. An attempt to storm the city was also made. The Third Corps failed to resist, despite receiving support from a large coalition of Turkish-backed factions known as the Liberation and Construction Movement. HDS's victory in Afrin encouraged the Hazma division, the Suleiman Shah, and other Turkish-backed factions, including the Ahara al-Sham movement, to launch a counteroffensive to recapture the town of Al-Bab. However, the town remains under the control of the Third Corps and its allies as of October 13th. The Turkish military, which maintains dozens of positions in the northern Aleppo countryside as well as in Greater Idlib, has so far refrained from intervening. According to the London-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, the battle in the northern Aleppo countryside has recently claimed the lives of 14 people. The fatalities include five militants from the Third Corps, one from the Liberation and Construction Movement, four from HDS, and four civilians. Many other militants and civilians were reportedly wounded. The ongoing battles exposed HDS's desires to expand its influence into the northern Aleppo countryside. The battle could end with a simple withdrawal by the terrorist group, as we saw during a similar battle back in June. However, Turkey and its proxies appear to be more than willing to accept and tolerate an expansion of hostilities by the group at this time.